Right, this is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, and we are now getting ready to plant our Roma tomatoes. And these are Roma tomatoes that we started from seed, and we started them in flats, pretty much like this. And then when they got big enough, we transferred them over to our solo cups that we use every year. And now they are big enough, but we're about to transplant them into the garden. And they are nice. Al's gonna pull one out, and show the roots. They're nice and big, beautiful, healthy plants. Maybe. <laughs> there they are. And they're not root bound, but they've got a good little root system ready, so they're ready to transplant. So we're about to get out here and do this now. And this is about third or fourth year on these solo cups, so that was a good purchase. And we did a video a long time ago where we took a soldering iron and just burnt holes in the bottom for drainage. But that's been a good investment. But these are going to go in this row right here and Alan has already gone through this is our digging tool that we use and he has already gone through and loosened the soil and we don't turn it over just forked it and just to aerate so we've already aerated the soil and now we are going to come back and add these Epsom salts and it says it eases mild aches and soreness comforts and relaxes overworked muscles and easily dissolves and they should have added good for tomatoes this will help with blossom end rot and it adds magnesium to the soil so we are going to, instead of putting it in each hole that we dig, we're just going to broadcast this. Yeah, in this cup would be this whole 30 foot row. So we're just going to kind of broadcast this over this row and then it'll work in as we dig in the holes. So we're going to spread this and then we're going to get ready and plant these tomatoes. All right, so here's one tomato. I'm gonna to take it out of the cup and pinch off the bottom a few leaves, just about as deep as you're gonna plant it. And then you wanna sink them pretty deep, not just even with root ball, but sink them pretty deep. And I went ahead and dug a hole. I wanna scratch the root ball too. Oh yeah, I forget. I'm gonna scratch the root ball if a little bit. Root bound. And if the root bound is especially important, but these aren't, these are about perfect actually. Yeah. Yep. They're not even coiled in the bottom at all. So that's beautiful. And I'm going to dig it out a little bit more. I'm sinking down in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. And put your dirt back. And this, gosh, it's a good, pretty black rich dirt. And you could plant these deeper, but we're about, because we've got the clay underneath this dirt that we've har worked hard to build on top of the clay. So I don't want to get down in that junk. But that's it. Yep. And he's ready. And then we're yep. going to plant them. We had to, this is 16 inches long, so we're going to plant them 16 inches apart and use this as a measure. And put it down and just dig the next hole. It's still good and moist. We will water them in well, but sometimes if it's really, really dry, we'll flood the holes. But um, this dirt's really, really moist. So we'll just go back and water after we get them all planted. Bring them good and soft, good and moist. And that's it. We'll go through and we'll plant all these and then come back and show you what the row looks like when we get back. more just loosen it up scratch the roots scratch the root ball loosen it up pinch the bottom few leaves off Get back in and that's it these tomatoes are gorgeous Hi. What kind are they? These are the Romas. Romas? Mm -hmm, that we started from seed. We're going to re mulch with that, right? Yeah, and then when we'll we go back done. and pull this mulch back up around it after we get everything planted. Yep. All, all right, right. Well, we'll plant these and come back and show you what the road looks like when we get them all in. 30 more feet to go. 30 feet. <laughs>
Okay, so we are going to go back and water these in good. And after we give them a good soaking, then we will go back and take the mulch because we try not to leave any dirt uncovered we, as much as possible. We'll go back and pull our leaf mulch in back on top of them after we water them in good. And that's it. That's what we're about to do. Go in and water in all of them and pull it back. And that's it for this row. And then we've got more, we've got more left that we're going to end up, that we're going to plant, but not on, <laughs> not today, not on this row. Well, I'll do it today. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll do it today, but not on this row. And then, well, I'll go ahead and till. This row, we're going to finish watering, pull up the mulch, and then on this row, and I'll come back and show this later, we need to go through and harvest all these sugar snap peas, and the, it's getting too hot for them. They're starting to die back. So we're going to go through and harvest these peas and then we'll go through and snap off these peas at the ground. We try not to pull them. We try to leave the roots, you know, but if some roots come out, it's not a big deal. But we try to leave as much root in the ground for the worms and for fertilizer as possible. But I'll come back and show that in a little while. And that's it for planting this row of tomatoes. Go back and finish watering and pulling up the mulch. And thanks for watching.